Hello, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Screw Titus Plays Minecraft. How you guys doing today? Uh, we are hanging out here at our horse farm, and I don't know if you noticed, things are a little bit different. We've been busy. There used to be some furnaces over here, some chests, maybe a bed. Um, yeah, it's all gone, and uh, some changes around here. we got some reeds planted down there by our, our lake. We've expanded our farm. We've got potatoes and wheat and carrots and, oh, what's this? we got pumpkins and we got melons, too. We are expanding our, our horse island. Um, actually, to address that real quick, we got all sorts of good submissions in the comments last episode for names. I'm um, still weighing the options as to what, whoop, didn't mean to... Um, break out one so we'll put that back in but i'm still weighing the options for what we're going to call the island a lot of good submissions and i'm going to leave it open actually for this episode as well if you want to throw something in the comments for the name for our island here go ahead and do so all right so here's our little shanty our little beginner hut for the island there's tater tot our trusty steed if you guys missed that actually we had it at the end of last episode a little little secret thing after our outro that uh, we named the horse uh, with the anvil then. So uh, here's our little our little shack. We got two chests full with all of our goodies. Um, you saw the furnaces in the floor there. Uh, we've done some caving and we got some more iron arm horse armor, uh, saddles. We got all sorts of goodies. I uh, got some hay bales here. We're going to use for our designs today in our structure. And I got to figure out somewhere for that enchantment table still. So. Uh, and then if we come down out our back door, we get this lovely view of our little uh, lake here. Um, thinking maybe about building a little pier off of this to go fishing in. Might be nice. So, uh, yeah, and then there's our furnaces again. And then if we go up to the roof, there's our bed. We hit it up on the roof. Kind of cool, I think. It's sort of flush with the floor. Kind of looks just like, instead of a bed, it looks just like a sleeping bag laying there. So, uh yeah, that's what we've got up here. Uh, down here is where we're going to put our, our horse stables. This is the area. I've done a lot of terraforming here. Terraforming. Ugh. Uh, yeah, so that's where we're going to build it. But here's all of our resources that we've got. Tons of clay that I've, I've hardened and tons of wood. Let's, uh, let's show you how we got all this stuff. Yeah, so there we have it, guys. Uh, we were busy, uh, did some deep sea diving, collecting clay, and uh, did, I don't even know how much wood chopping, which is pretty ironic considering um, right before we went on our, our horse excursion, we built that awesome semi-automatic tree farm. If you guys missed it, check it out. Uh, it's a cool design, but uh, it would have made what I did a lot easier. So let's talk about our hardened clay here. I decided to go with the black because uh, uh, I think it goes really well with the oak wood planks. I think the colors match. What's kind of cool is it is black um, in terms of name, but since it's a black dye mixed with the uh, reddish, brownish, hardened clay, it turns into a real deep, dark brown color that I think is going to work really well with this build. So uh, we're going to need probably a good bit of this. Let me go ahead and make uh, another stack here. Actually, yeah. Let's just go ahead and, and throw a whole bunch of this together. Uh, 
That should take care of that. We're going to need planks now. And uh, we're going to need stairs and um, maybe a couple half slabs. Not a lot. There we go. All right. That should do it for our building supplies. Now we're all hooked up here, ready to start on our build, our sun setting, which is unfortunate. Uh, given the 1-6 uh, mobs, we don't want to start this project at night. So uh, it's heading down. Uh, I think I'm going to head back up to uh, my little little shanty here and uh, take a snoozer, and, and we'll get back to work in the morning. Yeah, come on. It's right there. I mean, it, night is right there. All right, guys, so it's, it's, it's bright and early in the morning, and we are getting ready to build our horse stables. This is going to be our main entryway into the island, I'm thinking, between these two small hills. So we want them to come. We want to bring things through here. We're going to have to do a little bit of terraforming first to build up this land. All right, we're just trying to fill in all these spots. Uh, that should do it for now. We had some extra wood in our inventory. All right, so let's see. We want to come fairly close to this lake. I don't think we need too much extra space over here. It's trying to find a nice space. We need a decent walkway between the two. And our stalls are going to be roughly 5x5 uh, five five space. I think that should be big enough for the horses. So uh, let's do this. Four, four, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. And then we're going to bring it out the same. Three, four, five. All right. That's going to be our basic... Oh. And then we got more planks. There we go. That's going to be our basic stall size. And we're going to repeat that over and over. Now, uh, I want to dig out the land because we, we need, um, we actually have an automated gate or, uh, you know, opening for the, uh, oh, broke my shovel, for the horses to be able to come in and out of. So I'm actually going to dig all this out. I'm thinking instead of grass, what we're going to try to do is have uh, just dirt, plain dirt inside the stalls. Um, just in thinking that, you know, if a horse is in there, there's not going to be grass growing. They're going to be trampling it around and everything. It, all the grass would have died by then. So, um, all right. So what we need to do is uh, figure out our opening here, our entryway. And I'm thinking it's going to be a three-wide opening. So we need to actually clear out a good bit of room down here for our wiring. Uh, it's not going to take up a lot of space, but we're going to need to be able to run a little bit of redstone and have some room for some torches and our sticky pistons. So I think that should actually be enough space. So let's put our dirt that we dug up back down because, like I said, we're, we're hoping to have a dirt floor in here, not grass. So we'll fill all this in. And, uh, yeah, we need to get our pistons down now. So... Let's just do that. Um, actually, let's think about this right there. One, two, three. That's going to be the opening that our horses are going to be able to come in and out of. Uh, we're just going to do fence post on top of that. So one, two, three. And then we're going to do one on either side. So when actually when the uh, pistons are up, the fence will attach all the way across. I actually forgot that I wanted to do the post in the uh, clay. I want to start introducing that color to separate the stalls. I think it, it's a nice touch. So we're going to go up um, four or five. I don't remember. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, that might be too tall. I'm not sure. It, it feels a little tall. Let's see. If we put those there. Yeah, I think... I think four is the height that we worked out before. So I'm going to put these little, uh, I don't know, molding. I guess it's sort of like crown molding, which would be, I guess, the wrong term for a horse stable. But just sort of top off these columns with some upside down stairs. And then uh, put a, ha a, a regular stair in the middle. And we're actually going to put name plates on those. Uh, but let's finish off the uh, stall design here on the inside. Get our wood planks and just do uh, down that wall with three. And then our corners are going to have to go up as well. Let's get that matching. One, two, th oh, three right there. OK, 
Okay. And do some fences so our horses have the ability to 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 peek out at the world. All right, there we go. And let's get over here. One, two, three, and four. There we go. Put our fences down. That is that right? Glowstone up in the corners. Two, three, four. No, that's not right, is it? Let me uh, <laughs> let me take this down real quick. This is their stall is supposed to be a five by five stall, and I managed to make it a four by four. So we just need to do a little bit of reworking here. The uh, windows on the side are supposed to be the same opening as the uh, stall. Uh, gate on the front so a three wide fence on the sides and the back sort of a, an all symmetrical feel to the the look here all right that looks like that's got our right spacing now so let's put our fences down and it will go back up to where we had these uh, it's always the problem with building a live while recording is that you make these little mistakes like this. But I think it also shows that, uh, you know, everybody makes them. You can plan and do everything you want. And, oh, come on, grass. Shouldn't that be dying? It should just be dirt, I think. I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to see how that works out. But we got some glowstone here, and I'm going to light up each one of these stalls with four pieces, one in each top corner like that. And then we've got stairs that we're going to go like that. And this way connects nicely with the front, I think. And then we need the uh, the dark clay, or I'm sorry, the, the, the black clay across the top of each one of those, introducing that color again, sort of giving a pop. But then we want to cover some of it up, I think, with the steps, I think is a nice touch. And then uh, we've got the half slabs just to sort of connect the arcs. And that went the wrong way <laughs> and pop it on there and there we go all right so that's the look that we wanted to go for let's uh let's head out and take a peek from the outside i think it looks great we're going to put our name plate up there all right do we have a sign no we don't all right so we need to figure out our um, mechanism our redstone wiring uh, we need to clear space out for that, so we're going to have, um, let's clear this out so we can get in and out down below. We're going to need a lot of space, there we go, because we're going to have to have the wiring there. So we need a sticky piston, and we're going to have it upside down. Um, actually, I think I need some more redstone, guys. Yep. All right, so we got our repeaters made, and uh, we're ready to do our wiring here. So what's going to happen is we got that closed up, all right, and we're going to put a uh, sticky piston facing down underneath this wood block. This is going to have our lever on it that will just be our simple control up or down for the, the gate. So uh, down here then we're going to put a downward facing sticky piston. So that is going to control with just a simple flick of the lever. All right. And then what we need is um, one redstone block and some redstone uh, wiring. Okay, wait a second. This isn't going to work. Um, yeah, let me knock these out. We actually need to go behind here. I didn't clear out <laughs> quite enough space. Um we need the uh, blocks to. We're actually going to put uh, redstone torches underneath these uh, these sticky pistons, and then we'll invert the signal from the redstone block here. Let, let me just show you real quick. Uh, we'll just put these on the block like so. One, two, and three. All right, and those extended up. Right, perfect. Now, uh, oh yeah, I forgot. I want to put these. One, two, and one, two, like that. And then we need to uh, run the redstone wiring from our redstone block so that the lever actually controls something. So uh, if 
we just put it down over top and then one down and then this is going to be our redstone block and the lever will push that down then like this that's down and the gate is open pretty simple wiring closed and open uh, not a lot of resources and it works like a charm so let's see what we got over in our chest for building supplies. We got our hay bales. Do we have just a little bit of dress up because our horses, they need to eat. So uh, let's see here. Yeah, we made some cauldrons. Uh, it's going to be our water trough uh, instead of a magical cauldron. And we'll put some hay bales over in the corner. Uh, let's knock one over. Put one standing up and one on its side. Perfect. And... Uh, I think that looks pretty good. We'll put a bit of water in our cauldron for our horses to drink out of. And uh, that's, that's going to do it. We're going to pop a sign on the top where the normal facing step is. And uh, once we name our horses, then we'll take it down and we'll replace the plain plaque or the plain sign with a sign with the uh, horse's actual name. So I'm going to continue this pattern uh, up that way on both sides and then up, up this way as well. All right, guys, so welcome back. We've been busy. Uh, I got three of the stalls actually constructed, and I've got uh, the other nine laid out. It's going to take up a substantial amount of room down here, but I think, uh, I think it's going to be good. And, I mean, this is Horse Island, so, I mean... Horse stables should be a pretty prominent feature on the island. Uh, yeah, so let's take a look here. We did a little bit more. Um, unfortunately, our dirt all grew in with grass. Um, we might just end up leaving that as grass. Um, but uh, we've got this side dug out down below ready for the wiring. We did a little bit more with the uh, stairs in, in the front of each stall. And then, like I said, we've got these six all dug out and ready to be done as well. A lot of work to be done. It's the same thing repeated over and over again, though. So um, I may have to clear out some of that hillside. I'm not sure because I want this to be the main entry here. Uh, maybe accent it with a little bit more of that dark uh, clay. I don't know. Got to work on that still. We'll see what that looks like on either side. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get started on putting the rest of these up, and I will check back in with you guys. All right, guys, we're back. We've been busy, uh, we, and we're actually going to take some of our supplies. We've been moving stuff down gradually um, because this is just going to be sort of a crash shack. We want to make a permanent uh, residence sort of down in the horse stables, but... Uh, We've got things finished up, so we need to start actually moving our horses down. We can un, uh, unlead them or untie them and uh, head on down. So let's saddle up one of our, our one of our already tamed horses and uh, ride it down. Well, this guy's not tamed, but uh, we'll find one and we'll, we'll ride him. All right, so here we go. We got this guy. This guy's tamed. We'll saddle him up and let's give her a ride. Um, we actually don't have a name for any of our other horses. We haven't even come close to coming up with a name. But uh, here we go. Who? Oh, Andale. Here we go. All right. So uh, which stall do you want, horsey? Uh, with no name. <laughs> let's actually <laughs> let's take a ride up this hillside and take a peek down at what we've got for the stables. I love it. It's totally not finished yet but I think it looks awesome so far I need an idea Whoop. let me see there we go that's the view we wanted looks fantastic not to pat myself on the back but uh, I definitely am so uh, all right let's get let's head on down here oh uh, did that that didn't hurt okay wow you are one slow horse aren't you so you have low health and you're not very fast. Perfect. So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, put you where? Where are we gonna put you in this first one? Is this th is this the winning stall? No, that's not it. You're not feeling it. Is this it? Does it feel like home? I think so. You look happy. Whoop! 
jump back on there. How do I get <coughs> the saddle off of here? Oh, don't don't do that. Didn't want to didn't want to do that. How do I get this saddle? Oh, he is not happy. Let's get him locked in there. Oh no, he's getting away. Get over here. Get over here. Oh, get over here. There we go. All right, now get back in there. Hit that lever, and we get off of the horse. And he is really mad because I punched him. All right, we got him in there. Perfect. Okay, so that is um, two horses. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm just trying to get that stinking saddle off of him. Oh, man. All right, let's get the lever again. Okay. And then you go in the back. And let me get off. And no, 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 no. You stay in there. Stay in there. Okay. Whew. <laughs> He's happy. He's smiling. All right. Okay, so we've got a bunch more stalls. You see, I did replace that middle, actually, regular stair with a bit of the uh, clay. Uh, there, here, this is actually uh, Tater Tot. We brought him down, so let's put his uh, name on his sign. Tater Tot. I don't know why, but I think it's an excellent name for a horse. Uh, so, yeah. And his sign is up. That is, is his stall, and he is happy as can be. All right. So let me uh, show you around the uh, almost completed stables. Those are my wussy bars to keep the uh, mobs out at night. But, yeah, uh, as I was saying, that's the entryway, and so that hillside is sort of getting in the way. I like the way this one is, but this one is a little too far over. So I think we're going to have to dig it out a little bit and sort of blend it in like the other side is so that we can have a nice clean entryway in the front. So yeah, we've got all of our, our stalls tricked out with hay bales and cauldrons and signs ready for our horses to come on in. All the gates are, are fully functioning. Yeah, we're ready to go. We've even got a little a little uh, storage area with our... Um, Oh, we got six diamonds, too, finally. We've been doing some good paving uh, in between building. And uh, we've got a little um, anvil that we could do our horseshoes or shoeing on. Uh, obviously, we don't have a roof yet. We need to figure out what we need to do with that, though. Uh, but, yeah, we've got an anvil. We've got our storage. Uh, we're going to put our horse stuff in this chest here. And we've got some furnaces, a workbench, pretty much everything, you know, that, that we need to get our work done. On it for our horses so uh yeah we uh actually have a little uh pressure plate here what's this for let me walk over oh what do we have here guys a little hidden secret sneaky enchanting table on the floor huh fully enchants up to level 30 cool cool stuff and uh, we just walk over top of that and we're done closed what enchantment table? What are you talking about? I don't see one. Yeah. Um, a lot of work went into that. <laughs> I think, actually, I'm going to cover that in a, in uh, next week's episode. Or not next week's, but the next episode. Uh, we'll probably go over how, um, how that wiring works. We'll come down here and, and just show you. We've got everything wired up. We've got... Uh, our, our, our sticky pistons with the redstone block that powers the redstone wiring on top of the wood block that has the torches connected to it. And that's set up for each of our stables. It's nice. It takes up only four blocks in width, so the wiring doesn't interfere with the stall next to it. Uh, so it, it's nice and compact. Actually, five blocks in width, not four. But And then uh, it continues. There's the other six stalls. As you can see, they're all unoccupied because the, the block is down. And then this is all of the wiring that we have for our enchantment area. Like I said, just a quick peek at that because we're going to go over that in the next episode. So anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this week. I hope you enjoyed the episode. We've done... Uh, come on, Creeper. Get the heck away from everything. I don't need you blowing up anything. <laughs> anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We uh, had a lot of work. We covered a lot of ground. Uh, a lot of it I did off camera, but I think it uh, it made the episode move along a little bit smooth, more smoothly. Uh, yeah, so we're going to head up to our, our shanty that's new, take a snooze because we're tired from working on our horse stables. If you guys liked the episode, throw a like on it and uh, comment and let me know, and I will check you in the next episode.
We'll see you.